this is only part one of my unboxing, so you have to subscribe to my channel to find out my second coach purchase. My name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel. I love handbags, as you can tell by the title. And Coach has always had my heart for ever. <laughs> and this collection, the Mint and Surf, came out last year in the boutique. And I didn't want to spend the money on something I had never seen, especially on something like these collaborations like that. So, voila! voila. It's now at the outlet, <laughs> and uh, so I had to see for myself one of the Mint and Surf collaborations, so let's do this unboxing, right? Cheer. I liked this collaboration from watching YouTube videos last year, especially Yoda who also I've enabled to collab with me on this purchase and she ordered something too so we're collabing today on this mint and surf coach purchase so sorry yoda but it's your fault originally because you bought that bandit in the mint and surf at the boutique and i loved it on camera i just need to see it in person so go over to her channel when you're done watching my channel <laughs> okay on to this here it is nice air paper <laughs> and I did not peek well because I couldn't peek it's all wrapped up I of course bought this when they had the 20% off sale uh, it wasn't cheap but it was still cheaper than the boutique that came out last year so let me unwrap this for you I paid 211 after the discount and I hope that I'm gonna like this in person if not it's gonna go back but I really liked what I saw so this is the first time I'm seeing them in person so oh this is cool <laughs> I have a creative side I don't know if y'all noticed that but I I like to edit, I like to create. Um, my major in college was in advertising and marketing. Um, so I've always liked, this is really neat. <laughs> this, this is the Morgan bag, sorry I got distracted. But yeah, I like art, I like to do diamond paintings. I, I don't know, I'm just, some people, have a business mind some have a creative mind I have a mix of both of those <laughs> so that's kind of why I started YouTube and of course the love of handbags <laughs> so here it is let me get this it has silver hardware and this is so cool I mean this collection's not for everyone but I believe it's for me <laughs> So here is that. That is so cool. So I noticed that some parts are shiny right here, like patent leather. And then these right here are more just regular leather, not shiny. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. This is the Morgan bag. Um, I believe it has two straps. So cool very nicely wrapped so I jumped on it really quick um, because I didn't know if it would be sold out and I also wanted to show you before it sold out and hopefully I can get this up with Yoda uh, in time for you to get one if you want one so this is the interior of it very nice I don't know what kind of material that is probably the micro suede or whatever I've always liked the Morgan bag but none of them spoke to me like 
this one. <laughs> this giant buckle is pretty neat with that silver. You don't see very many bags with silver hardware. I feel like silver is coming back. So I wanted to definitely get this collection. This has a back pocket as well, which is definitely a bonus. And here's the bottom. The bottom does not have, and the sides do not have the graffiti looking print on it. There's the hang tag. It would have been cool if this would have had the same graffiti. That would have been a unique little touch. But instead it's just the coach that says mint and surf on it. Yeah, why isn't this the same pattern? That would have been awesome. So yeah, this is really nice. Let me get it unwrapped. I'm going to show you the back again just so you could see up close. I kind of wonder if everyone gets a different print placement because some bags, you know how there's flowers and different patterns at different locations on the bag. So I wonder if they all turn out like this or if they're all a little bit different variation of the, the splatter. But yeah, so cool. I believe that this is going to be a showstopper. For sure. It comes with the crossbody strap and it's just the black leather. Here's the hardware again. And then you also have the shoulder. So you can do it crossbody or shoulder. Two options and these are just solid black. No, you know, graffiti type print on it. Let me put the shoulder strap on. I don't know how I'm going to carry it. I'll do a little mod shot for you though. Here it is with the shoulder strap. How cute is this? Let me see. It's got a good drop. Here it is on me. Oh, if I be in the camera. See? Very nice. Very cool. I like to wear black shirts a lot. So this is amazing. Let me give you the measurements. The measurements are 10 by 5, and the depth is around 2.5, so not a lot of depth, but you also have that back pocket. The shoulder drop is 9 for the shoulder strap. And then, I didn't know if I pointed this out, it has a front slip pocket right here. And then it has just the one big pocket right there. And there's something in it. This was wrapped extreme. And it has, you know, the coach tag along with a zipper pocket. With the magnet. Okay, note to anyone, if you leave one of these in your bag at certain stores with the metal detector type, this thing will go off. So take this out of your bag. And then there's the coach, wear it, love it, pass it on. Here's the tag for it. And I learned from Jackie that, and also Google, <laughs> but she mentioned that comparable value is an outlet bag. And when it says MSRP, it means a boutique bag. So, and I always put my tag in the zipper pocket. <laughs> Uh, there seems to be a lot of room. I'll do a, you know, what fits here in a second. So a little what's inside. Well, what can go inside. I have my coach little wallet. These are really handy. And they can put your coins in. And your cards and your driver's license. And they'll go in. And then this is a Daisy Rose pouch. Looks similar to the... Louis Vuitton key pouch. Throw that in. And here is my Coach Nolita 15. Just want to see. Um, well, so if you put the Nolita 15 in, you're limiting yourself on some space. My phone will go in, but where's my keys going to go? <laughs> so I might do a card wallet and put that up front in this front slot. 
but just for your reference there's the Nolita 15 and there it shuts I don't know a lot about the artist of this but I really can appreciate it um, it's a super nice leather you know bag with this cool shiny see that you can see the shine and all the there's reds and whites splattered and on this corner it has that teal color very cool I don't know it almost looks like an S right here I don't know pretty neat this bag also has like I said the matte finish and then there's some shiny pattern but it also has some areas that are lifted um, I don't know if you can see it on camera, so there's different textures um, throughout the bag too. Maybe you can see it back here, but it's not a smooth, you know, it's like almost a, a patch here. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that very good, but so it's not smooth at all. Jackie from Jack's Bag Attack was mentioning the glazing being brown right here instead of black, which I find a little odd, but does it affect me liking it? No, I still like it. <laughs> but yeah, why, why didn't they make that black? Why didn't they put the pattern on this hang tag? I do not know. If I worked at Coach, I would have done that. Sorry, I'm kind of out of the frame. So let me do a mod shot for you. I left it on its current placement of the holes here. This bag has a lot of adjustments for the crossbody. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven adjustments. So even if you're tall, big, round, short, Stumpy, whatever, this will fit you crossbody <laughs> for sure. And you know, I love that you can detach. And if I wanted to put another chain on or some other option, I could do it. I don't have any silver chains, but a silver chunky chain would probably look cute on this. Future Andrea here with that amazing silver chain that I wanted to order. <laughs> For this amazing Morgan bag, I ordered it, this chain is heavy duty. <laughs> but look how cool and edgy this looks with it though. And I will link this one down below. But yeah, look how much it matches that hardware. And these are just easily clipped on. Yeah, it's just the clips that you push down and then attach. And it's more like a box type of chain. Oh, it's so cool. But yeah, I can even, if I wanted to, wear it on my shoulder with the chain. Which looks pretty cool, I must say. Or, let's take a look at it crossbody. This bag looks so cool with this extra chain. What do you guys think? I think it looks very cool with it. I don't know. Do you like the chain? Instead of ordering a coach chain that are, you know, a hundred and some odd dollars, I went to Amazon first. So here is the chain. It's the same length as the coach chains that they sell on the boutique site. They're, it's the same length. Let me give you the length of this chain in case you're interested. It is approximately 21 inches long. But they have two sizes of thickness of this chain. I chose the small and they also have a large, like a large chunky chain. <laughs> But I went with the smaller one, but yeah, this is so cool. Just warning you, it's heavy. It's heavy. So back to the regularly scheduled program. I mean, is that too much? <laughs> but yeah, I, I bugged Yoda and told her about this 
mint and surf on the outlet site so she went over and got herself some goodies as well so don't forget to go over and check her out and uh i like this what do you guys think do you like it shoulder or carry or do you like it crossbody which one i like both of them it's a really good size again here it is up close so cool and like I said before, there will be a part two of my coach shopping that I have done. So subscribe down below and uh, be sure and like this video if you did. But until next time, I will talk to you soon. Bye.